Okay, hello guys. So in this video, what, do, what I want to talk about, I want to talk about double integral, and I'm going to use a new format. When I'm going to have a book on the left, and I'm going to write my notes on the right. And what is our goal for today is to give a definition of this double integral and do some simple problems. So let's start with the definition. First, remember if we have uh, a single variable calculus, then in that case we have functions y is equal to f of x. And then we can define a definite integral uh, as integral between a and b of f of x dx. And that is going to be uh, the integral where the geometric meaning of our integral is going to be the area under the curve f. If my curve is going to be bounded exactly between uh, point a and point b. So in other words, if I have my function f over here, then the meaning of this integral is going to be the area under this curve. Okay, but right now, uh, instead of, since we have functions of the form z is equal to f of xy, and you can see before we have one dimensional domain, uh, because we have just one variable x as our input, or in other words, uh, our domain literally was like one dimensional thing. So if you're going to stand here, then you have only one, uh, how to say, like dimension of freedom. But right now our function is going to be given as a function in terms of two variables. So in that case, if we're going to sketch like just some random function in x, y, z space, then you can see like if before my domain over here was just a unit interval, not like a unit interval, it was just an interval between point A and B. But right now, like, our domain uh, can be like any two-dimensional region. So I can take a circle to be our domain, or I can take like a square as our domain. And the question is like, how are we going to integrate uh, our double integral in that case? And what is our double integral is actually going to be? So first, let's take that square domain. Then for the square domain, what we're going to do, we're going to consider a function which is going to be above the domain. So I'm going to get uh, like kind of this deformed region. And this function is exactly z is equal to f of x, y. So right now, if you're going to use the same definition that we used before, then if I'm going to name the uh, domain, which is a square in this case, just d, then I'm going to define that my double integral over that region d of the function f of x, y is going to be not the area, because area we have like one dimensional function, but if we're going to have like two dimensional surface, then it's going to be volume under the curve. And here you can see that dx, in this case, indicating the really small change of x. So uh, instead of really small change of x, I'm going to have that like small squared, and that square is going to be called just dA. So my integral is going to be just double integral of f of, of f of x and y. And this is going to be the definition. So before it was the area. And right now that integral means the volume of that region over here. Okay, and let's right now take a look uh, at some pictures if we have in our book. So what do we have? We have some computations. And yeah, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. So for example, if you're going to consider right now this graph on the left, then you can see they go they call the region r then you can see if you're going to consider the integral of function f of x y da over region r and i'm going to write rewrite this integral as a double integral over r of x squared plus y squared da then that integral is exactly is going to be that area uh, tornado area that the volume under the curve and other the surface and where our surface is going to be a probability. So in other words, it's going to be this region over here. So once we know uh, simple definitions of our region uh, or like of our like double integral, what do we need to do? Let's do some computation. So let's go right now to the practice problem section and see how to compute them. So let's start with simple exercise. And simple exercise is going to be just warm up exercise. Uh, and this warm up exercise is just integrals in terms of uh, one variable. And I'm going to skip those. And so, first, let's try to do integral uh, in terms of two variables. But I'm going to take a single integral. So, how we do we do uh, this kind of problems? So, let's take, for example, problem number one. For this problem, we have integral between 0 and 5 of x to the 4y plus y dx. So, integration is the opposite operation to differentiation. 
so when we were taking like partial derivative corresponding uh, to x, we treat it like y is a constant. And here we can see that we're going to take integral corresponding to x. So that's why we're going to treat our y variable as a constant. So this is going to be my constant. And this is going to be my constant. And then if I'm going to integrate just my integral, I'm going to obtain x to the fifth over 5 of y. Because again, y is a constant. Plus x times y. And I'm going to have the integral between 0 and 5. And so from here, I will obtain uh, 5 to the fifth over 5 times y plus 5 times y. And if I'm going to plug in 0, we're going to get 0 and 0. So 5 and 5 will get canceled. And I will get uh, 5 to the fourth y plus 5 times y. And that is going to be my answer. So in this case, you can see when I'm going to take the integral just once, so in other words, it's not going to be a double integral. My answer is not going to be a number. And you should expect your answer to be a number because the meaning of the double integral is going to be the volume under the surface, which is obviously a number. But if you're going to take integral corresponding to one variable, of course you're going to get, and if you have like two variables inside your integral, of course you're going to get your answer in terms of one variable that you didn't evaluate. Okay, so right now we know how to do this kind of problems. And I'm going to skip problems uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 because they are pretty similar. And let's do some uh, problems uh, related to uh, our region, when our region is going to be given as either rectangular or a square. So in other words, let's do, for example, problem number 11. So for do, in order like, to do problem number 11, what I have, I have the double integral of 1 to 5 between 0 and 3 of x squared y plus 5y dx dy. Okay, so for this integral, what we need to do, uh, let's first try to visualize what is happening. And be, the reason, I have two reasons why I want to visualize it. The first, it's nice to know uh, like uh, what stands behind the problem so not just to do problem automatically but also like uh that visualization part is going to be important when the bounds of our integrals are not going to be numbers because for example here you can see your bounds are going to be integral between one and five and these bounds are going to be integral between zero and three but we're going to study soon that uh, the inner bounds sometimes might be functions and in that case we need to know how to deal them if you for example want to change the order of your integration okay so first let's try to uh, sketch, our, uh, sketch our region uh, R and in this R in this case R is going to be a rectangular so this is my XY plane and you can see that your Y bounds are going between 1 and 5 so that's why along Y axis I'm going to indicate number 1 and I'm going to indicate number 5 and then uh, for uh, inside integral I have uh, DX and my X bounds between 0 and 3 so I'm going to indicate 0 and I'm going to indicate 3 so that means that my region is going to be exactly between uh, 1 and 5 along y-axis and 0 and 3 along x-axis. So in other words, I'm going to have this region over here. And this is, again, this is my r. And right now you can think about this function here as function of f of xy, which sits on the top of your region, uh, which is like uh, that orange region right now, or in other words, rectangular. And by computing that integral, I'm going to find the volume under that uh, function. And let's actually do the computation. So what I'm going to obtain, first, since I want to integrate the integral corresponding to x variable, then I'm going to have integral of outside 1 to 5. And then I'm going to take my function, which is x squared y plus 5y, and integrate corresponding to x. And I'm going to obtain x cubed over 3 times y plus 5 x times y and I'm going to have the integral between 0 and 3 dy so you can see right now the idea is uh, in order to integra uh, integrate double integral you're first going to integrate the integral inside and then you're going to obtain the function and then after that you're going to integrate integral uh, uh, outside integral corresponding to a new variable so in this case I'm going to obtain the integral between 1 and 5 of uh, 3 cube over 3y minus, uh, sorry, plus 5 times 3y. 
And again, if I'm going to plug in zero, I'm going to get zero and zero and corresponding to dy. And after that, what do you want to do? First, I can simplify my first constant. I'm going to get three squared, which is nine. And I'm going to integrate it corresponding to y. So what I'm going to obtain, I'm going to obtain nine y uh, squared over two. And my second integral is going to be 15 and I'm going to integrate the same function. So I'm going to have 15 over two uh, y squared. And there I'm going to obtain uh, that I'm going to take the bounds between one and five. And you can see that uh, nine squared, uh, nine y squared over two plus 15 y squared over two is going to be just 24 uh, y squared over two, but 24 divided by two is 12. So I'm going to obtain uh, 12 y squared between one and five. And then I'm going to have is 12, uh, five squared, which is 25 minus one squared, is one so it's going to be uh 12 times uh 24. okay and we can either use calculator or do this computation in our head uh, and i should obtain something let's see uh uh 12 times uh 20 is going to be what is going to be 240 and then 12 times 4 is going to be 48 so you should get something like uh 288 i think and I hope if I did the computation correct in my head, then this is going to be the final answer for problem 11. Okay, and I think like this is going to be a good stop right now for uh, basic uh, uh, double integration. And in my next video, I'm going to do double integration when our region is not going to be a rectangle or a square. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will talk to you soon.